Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Frank from YOLO Live. In our last video, we discussed three encoding methods, VBR, CBR, and CQ, and we also touched on the concepts of H.264 and H.265. It is well known that YOLOBOX supports the H.264 encoding format. Additionally, the Ultra model also supports the H.265 encoding format. So in this video, we'll dive deeper into the video encoding formats H.264 and H.265 to help you gain a more comprehensive understanding of the visual parameters that affect video compression quality. A video file comprises three layers, container, codec, and raw data. Encoding compresses data to control the final file size. Each video consists of frames sized based on their raw data format, usually a color space model. Actual video files are smaller due to compression during encoding, dictated by the codec format, which uses specific compression and decompression algorithms. Compatibility with the codec is essential. Unsupported formats won't play on certain players. Encoding primarily affects file size through parameters like bit rate and maximum bit rate, often resulting in lossy compression that impacts quality. Resolution and frame rate adjustments occur during transcoding, which manipulates raw frame data by recalculating timestamps and discarding extra frames. H.264 is the most commonly used video codec, but it is designed to handle images and cannot process audio data. The compression mechanism of H.264 is quite typical, incorporating concepts like motion compensation and motion estimation. This allows the codec to reduce the overall file size by calculating the current image based on previous or surrounding images, instead of recording all the data for a highly similar sequence. While understanding the specific compression algorithms isn't necessary, it's important to be familiar with certain H.264 specific concepts, I-frames, P-frames, and B-frames. An I-frame, or intraframe, is a standalone image frame that can be displayed independently and contains the most data. A P-frame, or predicted frame, is computed from the previous I-frame or P-frame, so its data is incomplete and smaller in size compared to an I-frame. Most frames in a video are P-frames. A B-frame, or bi-predictive frame, is calculated based on both the preceding and succeeding I-frames or P-frames, making it the most data-efficient and smallest frame. GOP, or group of pictures, refers to a complete set of video frames. For instance, if the GOP is set to 25, the encoder will ensure that the first frame of every 25 frames is an I-frame. If the frame rate is also 25 FPS, then the first frame of each second will be an I-frame. Why is it useful to understand these H.264 concepts? In live streaming, these concepts become more significant. Since I-frames are independent frames, the playback of B-frames and P-frames relies on I-frames. Therefore, streaming servers must cache I-frames to help reduce initial screen distortion. However, localized distortions may still occur. To mitigate this, the GOP setting is crucial. Typically, the GOP is set to one to two times the frame rate, ensuring an I-frame every one to two seconds. This setup means that screen distortion theoretically only occurs if streaming starts within this one to two second window. Given that frames are generally similar within this interval and with I-frame caching, even localized distortions often go unnoticed. Moreover, for live streaming, it is usually recommended to disable B-frames. Although B-frames have the smallest data size, they depend on subsequent frames for decoding. Thus, disabling B-frames helps ensure a smoother live streaming experience. The I-frame interval and maximum B-frame settings on the YOLO box are fixed by default. If you are not satisfied with the YOLO box's parameter settings and need to insert I-frames more frequently, you will need to learn how to use custom FFmpeg output. In recent years, H.265 has steadily gained popularity. Compared to H.264, files compressed with H.265 under the same conditions are often smaller. For example, if I record a 9-second video on my Ultra, both set to 4K 30fps with the same network, 
the file size is 14.22 metadobytes with H.264 encoding. However, with H.265 encoding, the file size is only 12.63 metadobyte. There's also a unique situation where if your network bandwidth can only support lower resolution and FPS settings, you can choose H.265 encoding to maintain the best possible video quality. To elaborate, at 4K 30fps, the difference in quality between H.264 and H.265 may be hard to notice with the naked eye. However, at 720p or 480p settings, the final video quality difference between the two codecs is quite significant. Additionally, H.265 conserves bandwidth while maintaining video quality, but it requires more computational power for encoding and decoding. In other words, Playing H.265 videos demands more processing power than H.264. This is the key difference. H.265 offers a higher compression ratio, but at the expense of increased performance requirements. However, a crucial point to consider is that H.265 is not as widely supported as one might assume. Some streaming platforms such as Facebook and Twitch do not support H.265. Therefore, even if you opt for H.265, it won't be feasible if the client lacks support. This is why H.264 remains more commonly used, as it ensures compatibility across almost all platforms. Furthermore, because H.265 achieves greater compression, software decoding tends to be slower. For some older computers, playing high bitrate H.265 videos can be very choppy. Support for H.265 in widely used editing software is still improving. Therefore, if you plan to import videos from Yolobox for editing on your computer, I still recommend using H.264 encoding for now, unless H.265 encoding significantly enhances video quality. I personally have high hopes for the development of H.265. In the future, as Premiere and Final Cut's support for it becomes more comprehensive, and more software and devices begin to adapt to H.265, this encoding format, which balances high quality with small file sizes, will undoubtedly replace H.264 in the visible future. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all our latest tech insights. Also, don't forget to join our Facebook user group where lots of our customers share their user cases. If you have any questions or would like to know more about YOLO Live, you can contact us via email at contact.yololive.com. If your need is urgent, you can call us at plus 86 13735 812589. If you need to express your needs through pictures or videos, you can also contact us via WhatsApp. The number is still plus 86 13735 812589. See you in the next video.